Our Prime Minister, along with the government, were blindsided yesterday after the shock announcement that Minister Mecca Faitsiri has defected to the Māori Party. Speaker of the House, Adrian Rurafe, has reiterated or has reiterated that currently, for parliamentary purposes, Faitsiri is still regarded as an independent member of parliament. So where did Labour go wrong and how did the treatment of Faitsiri accelerate her crossing the floor to Te Pāti Māori? Deputy Leader of the Labour Party and MP for Te Tai Tokiro, Kelvin Davis, is with us now. Tēnā koe, Minister Davis, thank you for joining us. Ai, kia ora, Neil, tēnā koe. Now, this is obviously a difficult time for you, but where did Labour go wrong in its treatment of Mecca Whaiteri? Well, we didn't go wrong. Uh, we uh, were under the impression that uh, everything was going fine, that she was going to stand for us, so this is a decision... Uh, that she's made and she has to be accountable for it. While we're busy working on the issues of Ikoroa Rafati, such as the cyclone recovery, um, unfortunately she's diverted the tension away um, uh, to other issues. Uh, we just remain focused. There was no indication of um, any uh, her being upset. She'd certainly never raised any issues with, uh, with anybody that I'm aware of, certainly not the Prime Minister. Um, so this has come... Uh, as a surprise to all of us. But yesterday was the day for sadness and disappointment, and today is the day just to get on with things. Um, we've got a country to run. We've got a, uh, you know, all the issues around the cost of living and cyclone recovery to deal with, and that's our focus from here on in. Minister, from the outside, it looked like uh, Mecca Whaiteri has done her time serving a large Māori electorate as a minister and for her indiscretions in 2018. Why do you feel she was overlooked for promotion to, to a stronger or more stronger roles? Well, those are questions for the Prime Minister. Um, but we're, we, we're all working as a team. Um, we all have... We all do the same, serve large Māori electorates. We're all putting in the, uh, the effort... We've seen uh, other uh, Māori come through. We've got the biggest Māori uh, group of ministers in the history of Aotearoa. Uh, and, you know, we're all doing our bit to make sure that we serve not just our constituents but make all of Aotearoa a better place for everybody. Um, her reasons and her decisions are hers and hers alone. Uh, we haven't heard the reasons. We haven't... Um, heard any of the thinking. She certainly hasn't spoken to anyone, and I'm sure over the coming days, um, you know, the reason she'll will hear reasons, but they, I think, they're the reasons you have when you don't have a real reason is uh, where I'm getting at. Um, you know, but like I say, we're just going to get on with things and carry on uh, running the country as people expect of us. So, what's the process now, Minister, to find a, a very strong candidate to fill the vacancy in Ikiroa Rafiti and? Why, Ariki? Because they'll be going up against Whaiteri. Yeah, actually, it's interesting how people see an opportunity because uh, Willie in particular, who's our Māori campaign sort of strategist, has already been approached by a number of people. We um, There'll be a process, obviously, we have to extend deadlines now to uh, make sure that we uh, select the, the right person. Um, but we are confident um, that we will have very good candidates. People are seeing this as an opportunity. We're also confident that we'll retain the seat. Uh, it is a, a strong Labour seat. Uh, you know, everybody knows that Parekura was um, you know, an icon in the seat. And, and the other thing is, is um, people got to got to remember, and MPs shouldn't forget that we're actually nobody without our party. Um, you know, I didn't get to be the MP for Te Tai Tokoro because I'm Calvin Davis. I got mm. there because the Labour Party got in behind me. And, um, you know, our, our Labour Party will wrap in around the, the candidate and support them. Do you feel that the decision by Whaiteri could affect the principle of good faith in the Māori Party Labour coalition because this uh, could be a very strong coalition after the election or heading towards the election? Yeah, look, we're going to worry about the election uh, at the time. You know, we've got to wait and see what the results of the election will be. We're going out to win all the uh, seven Māori seats. Uh, we'll run a strong campaign. Um, that's what's most important to us. And, you know, in the, the wash-up afterwards, we'll see who we need to engage with, who, who we need to talk to and, and what the arrangements will be. And that'll be uh, a matter for Chris Hipkins talking to, you know, any other parties that are in the mix. And you're comfortable with where the Labour Party is currently? 
Well, we could have done without the events of the last two or three days, but like I say, we, you know, the, the whole caucus, we, we were, um, you know, saddened and disappointed because here's a colleague that we've worked with for a number of years has decided um, that she wants to be elsewhere. Uh, but we're just going to get on with things, and it, I don't really think it's it's changed anything in our approach or the way forward. Uh, we just have one less person in the House who's going to be voting for us, and, and you know we still have a majority. Uh, so we just get on with things. Deputy Leader of the Labour Party and MP for Te Tai Tokero, Kelvin Davis, thank you so much for your time today. Ngā mihi. Uh, kia ora, Neil. Tēnā koe.